Uh, you know, when we were, we were told we were receiving this amazing, wonderful award and recognition, we didn't fully disclose where, where we really met. Uh, Kurt and I didn't, in fact, meet while planting peas or advocating for organic food in college. We, we really cemented our friendship uh, out behind the, the dorm where we would dive in the dumpsters for discarded donuts from the, the local Dunkin' Donuts, um, <laughs> which to a college kid was a, was a real... A real boon. Um, but really, without those donuts uh, and without my, my friendship with Kurt, uh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't have created any of these films uh, and projects associated with them. Um, and without, without my mom, who uh, showed me by uh, foraging for watercress in Boston's Arbor, Arnold, Arnold Arboretum, and uh, illegally, I might add, that um, <laughs> sometimes you have to think outside the box to find good food. Um, without my father, who taught me to love taking pictures of the night sky in Maine. Uh, I wouldn't know the full role of, of beauty and art in good storytelling. Um, without my dear Amanda, uh, my partner in all these adventures and many more to come, um, certainly wouldn't remember to laugh and be so constantly inspired to make the world a better place and remember to move the truck farm on street cleaning days. Um, <laughs> So we're, uh, we're deeply grateful to the Heinz Foundation for the, the recognition for our work, which is so much about facing daunting obstacles with a dose of whimsy and humor and storytelling and, of course, the occasional donut. So we look forward to keeping hard at work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, when you have a, a friend like Ian for as long as I've had him as a friend, uh, it gets easy to, to take that kind of gift for granted. Um, but I think that's kind of always the way it is with uh, the things that matter most, with the people we love and the planet that sustains us. But tonight, thanks to Ms. Himes, we get to celebrate those things that really do matter the most. Um, and I want to thank Ian, first of all, uh, for our many great adventures, uh, most of which, as he suggested, started with some bad coffee and a donut and a long drive and an old Dodge pickup truck. I want to thank my parents who are here uh, for raising our family outdoors and for uh, teaching me and my five siblings um, how to find beauty in the garden and a work ethic in the kitchen and big ideas around the dinner table. I want to thank my wife, Caitlin, uh, for the dates and dinners that you've shared with me as friend and girlfriend and wife, uh, for the very real sacrifices you've made to support me, and uh, for the inspiration you give me every day with your brilliance and your integrity. Thanks. And I want to thank the trustees for peering into this kind of stew of work that Ian and I have done together over the last decade, and it has felt a lot more like fun than work, uh, and finding something that resonated with you, uh, this idea that food and agriculture are fundamental and important, too. The last thing I want to do is acknowledge the, the people who are not here, the kind of people behind the camera uh, who have made all of this possible. Quite literally, in the case of my cousin Aaron Wolf, uh, the director on our film King Corn, um, but also our collaborators at Food Corps and Wicked Delicate Films, our funders, uh, especially Dr. Ricardo Salvador and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, and most importantly, the, the people who watch our films and who join the same causes we join and who quietly work every day uh, to make the world a better place. You don't win awards for that kind of quiet, determined work, um, but it's that value of wanting to leave the world a better place uh, that at the end of the day is most fundamental of all. And uh, the medal we get when we reach that goal is, is one we all share. Thanks.